right, let's go ahead and check out this big update for 2024. Ready for this? It seems like the 2024 Ram HDs got here pretty darn quickly. I've actually seen more 2024 HDs than I have the half tons. And in this video, we're gonna go over the biggest change for this model year. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure your bell notifications are on. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. If you are in the market, these trucks are available. And from what I see on our website, they're discounting them. Let's take a look at the window sticker. This is gonna be the window sticker for the truck we're gonna be reviewing. The spec is above. And then check out the base price right here, 66,430. Standard equipment's listed below. And be sure to pause it for all the options. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but the night edition is $4,000. And a lot of assistance for towing, safety, towing tech is right here. Learning level one is 3,840. And it continues at the top. The Cummins is the most expensive option on this truck. Power sunroof and a few other things. Destination comes in at 1995 with a total price of $94,450. As far as the price change, this truck saw a $25 increase in pricing from 2023 to 2024. So honestly, there's not a huge difference between the two. Now we'll say, some of the options have seen price increases. Like I did notice that the Cummins went up by hundred bucks. So yeah, you're paying a little bit more for the Cummins. And for 2023, they took away a few things on this truck that were kind of bizarre. For example, you guys can see on the side, there's no fender flares on this truck. Also, if you do get a base Laramie, see in 2022, LED headlights and fog lights came standard. 2023 till now, those are no longer standard. Now, ventilated seats, which you'll see here in a second, that used to be an option from 2019 on, but 2018 and earlier pickups, that was standard on Laramie. And the reason why is because you have two more trim levels above this one, so they have to justify the cost. So unfortunately for some people, they took away some of the equipment on these later trucks and just kind of cheaped them up a little bit. So as you see, night edition package, and I probably would not buy a Ram without this because I do like the look. I probably wouldn't pick black paint because it's a lot of black going on here. And I do like it in other colors, but full LED headlights, they do black it out with that night edition treatment. Same thing goes for the grill and the surround for it too. Black tow hooks, although I did see also some of the limiteds were coming with the same black tow hooks too. Parking sensors are kind of hidden. They're still rocking these 20 inch wheels, same design. Firestone Transforce tires, 3,640 pounds of capacity, 80 PSI, LT285-6020, solid front axle. And then here are the wheel to wheel running boards. Something I recommend if you are looking to get these, I would probably have someone wrap these with like PPF because these are gonna get beat up pretty quickly. Here are the mirrors. These were changed for 2023, and they are actually one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys saw, but this truck does have cameras all around, front and back, and on the sides. Also, they added these for 2023. So if you are hooked up to a trailer, this does give you blind spot camera views around the truck and trailer, which is really cool. Smart key system, painted doors, and because it's not addition, there's no chrome trim pieces on this truck. Now I am looking forward to new tires for the next generation of Ram. And hopefully they'll add black lug nuts for night edition. We'll see. Nothing's changed with the tank. So 31 gallon and 5.7 for your DEF. Suspension is still the same. There is an optional air ride for this truck, which I recommend if you're buying this truck 100%. Parking sensors down below class 5 receiving hitch this camera input is for the rear view mirror so this camera would go behind your trailer now they don't they don't give you the camera but if you buy one you can hook it up in here and then you have a 7 and 12 pin for your camera video for your trailer 
LED license plate right there. And you have a LED light strip right there that shines down for your conventional hitch, class five. By the way, while we're down here, 373 rear end with the Cummins. And that camera's right there too. And this is an assisted tailgate. No spray in, but it is available. Fifth wheel prep package. And you have a seven and 12 pin and a cargo plug right there. And you have two cameras above the bed. I think that's two cameras. We'll find out in a second. I wish I could tell you that there was some updates to the powertrain, but this truck is still rocking the standard output Cummins. You still cannot get the high output, which I'll explain in another video. And 68 RFE, this truck has 850 pound-feet of torque, 370 horsepower. And I do like this powertrain. I feel like if you don't tow a lot, you will be happy that this truck does not have the high output because the Eisen is not the greatest transmission for people who don't tow a lot. One last thing, you do have dual alternators. One is like right through there. The other one is right there. And nothing new here, but Sport Performance Hood was added for 2023. And let's go ahead and check out this big update for 2024. Ready for this? I gotta sit down real quickly to show you guys. And I hope you're sitting down when I show this to you. This is the only update for this truck. I'm going to drop the tailgate, okay? Watch what happens. You see that icon right there? That is the update for 2024. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, and this one too. Okay, I'm just kidding. The video's not over quite yet. But that was the only update. Now, they added that to all the trim levels. So that was the big update for 2024. Now, as far as the interior goes, I think Ram is still the best in the segment. This is a great setup here. Stitching, very soft touch, and you have some suede right there. A little bit on the seats here. I think that Ram is still one of the leaders for the interiors, layering me and up. They have done such a great job, and they did it earlier on too. 10-way driver seat. You're still rocking the manual uh, steering column. It does not telescope. And this truck does not have, actually no, I, I almost spoke too soon, right there. It does have the pedal adjustments down below, so you can adjust these. And they still have the smallest cab. Now, something that I used to rave on Ram about back in the day, was this screen, specifically this menu. So they had what was called gauge summary. Now, unfortunately, Ford has now added theirs and they go a step further. They actually show you like your exhaust brake and your diesel particulate filter plus boost all in the same summary too on another page. Whereas Ram only gives you this one. So Ram, you gotta catch up again. Ford's beating you, and they're beating you bad. On this screen, however, GM and Ford cannot touch Ram. Ram is the best here. This is easy to use, it's easy to learn. I do like, however, what they've done in terms of the dashboard. So here's the off-road pages. Also, I don't know if you guys saw it, they have towing and trailering. So they give you the same gauges right here. I love that they did that. There's some camera views here. So this truck does have the 360, so surround view cameras right there. And multiple camera views. This is kind of confusing when you're on like these screens. So if you go to trailer, you have the trailer reverse. So if you're backing up the trailer, this would be a little bit helpful. And as you guys just saw, this is the 12 inch display too, right? They don't have these buttons outside of the screen. So if you want your ventilated seats on or your heated steering wheel, or heated seats, you have to go through the screen to do that. But look how you can customize this. You can add uh, like your pitch and roll in here. You can add shortcuts. I kind of wish they would give you like the gauge summary so that way you could see it like just below the navigation. That would be kind of cool. I hope Ram does something similar to that in the future. Now trailer steering was added probably last year. Exhaust brake, tow haul mode, traction control, front and rear parking sensors, trailer brakes right there. 
They give you the most USBs in the segment. They have four here and one more inside of this area. Also, this is a six passenger. They do provide storage below the seat in the middle. And then there is a power plug right here, coin storage. And let's go ahead and jump over to the side. One thing I like about Ram storage is they do give you light in there. However, they did take away the light for the bottom one, which was pretty comical. There is no more light in this area, which yeah, come on Ram. And as I said earlier on the outside, here is the rear view mirror. So if you push this button, you see how you have the split between the um, middle here? If you had a trailer hooked up, this would be able to show you alongside of that trailer. So really cool that they do that. You also have a tow mode for your trailer for the back. So you can see out the back of the trailer using this. I think they're the only ones that do that by the way too. Storage for your sunglasses. They still give you a 12 volt up here, which I found handy. And neither one of my Chevys have that. Sunroof is right here with some of the controls for it. And you can slide that rear glass too. And LED interior lights. However, inside of here, they're still using incandescent bulbs. Let's go ahead and check out the back. I think that Ram has a hashtag hotshot sleep matters because Ram is the only pickup in the HD segment that gives you a flat surface that you can actually sleep on. So this flips out and you can basically sleep back here if you do travel cross country. They do provide this storage. These do come out. Some people use these for like ice boxes. And there is a little bit of storage below the seat. You can see here, there's a light that shines down. By the way, GM trucks do not give you lights for the interior. Like this truck has some lighting around the interior. Some storage for the seat backs, cup holders. Down below you have four more USBs and you have an additional power plug. I know some people, Matthew Anderson say, you don't need this power plug, but I like to have two, I'm sorry. Like I have like a, a power station that I like to charge up and sometimes I use the plugs in the front to keep my laptop nice and charged, especially when I'm driving around. So I do like having multiple ones of these. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check out the payload. Now, as far as the numbers go, gross axle rating is 6,000 in the front, rear 6,040, 10,000 pound GVWR. And then here's the payload, 2,083 pounds. If you're looking to tow a travel trailer, this is the perfect truck for that. I mean, this Cummins loves to tow. And like I said earlier, if you do not tow that much, this is the perfect setup. I love the way this truck drives. I would drive one, but honestly, I've done a lot of videos in the past driving them. So I'm looking forward to the future when they actually change this truck. See you guys soon.